let's look at creative transitions in iMovie. So I have my dance film here, which is again, a rough draft with a couple of creative color effects on it. So what I'd like to do is add some more creative effects. So I'm gonna open some footage here by pressing the plus icon, just trim that down a little bit just for the sake of this tutorial. That's great. And I'm going to click the three dots and I get these options here. So I'm just going to click cut away first. So you'll notice that that has gone above the clip where my playhead was. So I'm just going to trim that so we can see it. So let's just play and see what happens. So we go to the next clip and that clip has gone on top of it. So it's cut away to that clip. So if you have two clips and you want to cut from one clip to the other, that's the technique you would use. And again, it will go where the playhead is. So if the playhead is at one clip, it will go above it. So let's try a different clip. So again, I'll just trim it for the sake of this tutorial and I'll press the three dots and I'm gonna click picture in picture. So that puts that on top there. And all that does is it puts a video inside of a video and it gives you a white box by default. So let's have a look here. So I've selected the clip by pressing it and I can pinch to zoom in so I can go in I can relocate where I want my box. I could go off the screen or I could go down in the bottom corner or in the top corner, wherever I wanted it really. So let me have a look there. So I've got my white box. If I click the little box icon, my white box will disappear. So I can have it as a picture in picture. Down at the bottom, if I click the split screen option, have a look how the image changes here. So I'm down at the bottom. I've clicked my three circles, split screen. Instantly, I get two screens within my viewer right there. So this is great if you want to do split screen filming. So you could, for example, do a duet with yourself. So you have part of your choreography on the left side of the screen, part of your choreography on the right. You could also do it the opposite way. So you can go vertical and horizontal in the way you split screen. And you can have a white borderline there, or you can not have a white borderline. It's really up to you in terms of how you want to present this and how you want this to look. So I can do all of that from within the actual timeline, but I can only do it if I have a clip already imported. So let me bring another clip in and I'm going to click green blue screen so you can see what this feature does. So I've clicked that. Now, because this clip wasn't shot with a green or a blue screen in the background, it's asking me to tap a color to make it transparent. So if I just tap the yellow here, for example, so I've tapped that, so that is transparent. So the clip below is playing underneath my top clip, but because I've only got the light that's transparent, you can't really see what's going off here. So if you have a green screen or a blue screen or a green or a blue wall at home, you could film your choreography on that and you could then superimpose yourself on your dancer. So even if I play with the strength, it doesn't really affect it because it's such a small window. So let's get rid of this clip and let's bring a clip I've already got from another series of workshops I'm running that is around green screen. So here's a clip. Let me just bring that in. Great, and we'll just pop that in, green, blue screen, and look what happens instantly. It's there, iMovie has figured out that it's got green there, and it's instantly put my clip behind that clip on top. Now, obviously, you wouldn't put a toy car in the background when you do this, but this clip just shows you how to use the green and blue screen feature. So if you filmed your choreography against a portable green screen or against a blue wall, for example, you can still use this technique when you're creating your dance film. It creates lots of really interesting possibilities for having yourself as the dancer on stage dancing with yourself on screen, for example. So that's how you can use the creative transitions within iMovie on a smartphone.